Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 68 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed about filter actions and in this lecture, we are going to discuss about action view in details. So action view is something that we use when a request is coming to a controller action and the controller action perform its task. And typically action controller is concerned with the communicant with the database and performing current operation whenever it's necessary okay because sometimes uh, it uh, does not require to perform a uh, crud operation with the database okay and then the action view is responsible for compiling the response on the browser okay let's try to understand that how it will work here you can see that right now i am at uh, the root page of my rails application so and if i make some space at the terminal and if i ref refresh this page you can see that uh, the request type is get and it is processed by the index section of the welcome controller okay and it is rendered inside the application layout and you can see that what has been rendered here that welcome index.html.drb within uh, from the welcome controller okay so what it means that whenever a request is come to the controller then first controller handle that request and then the action view is responsible for compiling that request result onto the browser so when this request is uh, served by the index section of welcome controller we can see the template here okay and we are seeing this uh, text welcome to the rails here okay so whenever a controller action has performed its uh, task or intended operation it sends the result to a view template that renders that result on a web page action view represents the v and also known as the presentation layer in mvc architecture okay so we already know that m represents the model and c represents the controller and v represents the view layer okay or action view for managing the action view there is a directory in rails application at app views okay so here you can see in sublime uh, that uh, or in a, any rails project that we have a view directory in app folder okay this view directory is responsible for uh, storing all the templates for controller action and in this app view directory controllers can have a folder name which is the same name as the controller name and in that directory they have templates for their actions okay so for example here you can see that uh, we have some student uh, actions in the students controller like edit index new and show so you can see that we have template with the same name as for edit action we have edit.html.drb for index action we have index.html.drb for new action we have new.html.drb and for show action we have show.html.drb similarly you can see that for welcome controller that we have a directory inside the app views with the name welcome and we have an index section there okay now let's try to see that action in welcome control we have def index okay inside the welcome controller similarly we have actions inside the projects controller and courses controller blocks controller and so on okay and students controller as well so all of the controller directories are stored inside the app views and we can store the templates there for controller and the template name must be or should be like a uh, controller's action name okay and it depends upon that uh, various some actions do not have their templates for example if we can see in students so we have template we have seven action inside the students controller like let's say index new create show edit update and destroy but we have templates only for edit index new and show only why because we did not create uh, uh, templates for the post routes and the patch routes or the patch or post actions like create is for post update is for patch and destroy is for delete request okay however if we serve that using js request we can use the js template for that but that is not the concern of now and uh, we, we can see when we work with Ajax okay so for now you can just consider it that we uh, store the templates or we create the templates for controller action only if it is for get request okay now there is a naming convention 
for views in Rails. Okay, typically view share their name with the associated controller action. Okay, as you can see uh, the student section. Okay, and this is the naming convention which is followed by the views in the Rails. Okay, uh, for example just you need to keep in mind that whenever you create a controller and if you want to create views for it or templates for it then you just need to write a controller uh, just need to create a directory inside the app views with the same name as the controller name and then in that directory you can store the template names as the action name okay for example if you have show action inside a controller then you, you should not make uh, the template name like display.html.erb you should make it show.html.erb okay and once you create controller action and uh, design a uh, define a template for it or create a template for it the complete html return to the client is composed of a combination of this erb file okay and a layout template that wraps it and all the partials that the view may reference okay for example uh, you can understand this by here that when I come to the students new form what happened let's see on the browser let's uh, visit the new form for students controller students new. okay I'm taking this example because here we have a controller and we have a template and we have a partial as well and every partial and template is for now is rendering inside the application layout Okay, so you can see here that uh, what happened when I redirected students new that it is processed by the new action of the students controller and the layout which is rendering is application.html.erb and here you can see that it renders the template for new html.erb. Okay, and within that new html we are rendering a partial that is form.html.erb okay and this partial has written the code for uh, displaying the form fields okay and here you can also see that it is rendered inside the application layout or application.html.erb so this is how it works so whenever you uh, whenever a request is coming to a controller action its template being rendered on the browser and that template is composed of a ERB file that might have reference to some layouts or some other partials as well. So whenever it uh, comes to a controller action, the controller action loads the completely template for you on browser. Or you can say that uh, that time the view compile the result for your request on the browser or the presentation layer take place there okay now one can ask that in what form the views are available in your rails application or how are the ways we can handle the view or we can create views for our rails application so a view file can be available and used as either template partials or layout okay let's understand each of this as we already discussed that a view template refers to an action in a controller we can use different types of templates in Rails okay for example to create HTML templates we can use uh, ERB HTML and Sim slim template engines by default Rails use the ERB to create HTML views and for using HTML and slim we need to use additional gems in your you need to use additional gems in your gem file there are JSON and XML templates as well. For example, here you can see that we created our students controller manually. That's why we did not edit any JSON or JBuilder file here. But whenever you generate a resource with Scaffold, it always come with some JSON uh, templates as well. For example, uh, you can see the course directory inside the views. Uh, we generated course directory, a course project or the course resources using scaf folding so here you can see that we have file for course.json.jbuilder index.json.jbuilder and show.json.jbuilder okay so this is the json template or and it is uh, distinct this can be distinct using its file extension json.jbuilder okay and this kind of json templates or xml templates 
are mainly used inside the APIs or when we design REST APIs using the Rails. Now, the another way of using views or action view is the partial. Okay, views can also be used as the partial and we already know and seen that what a partial is and what it can do. For example, just go to the form partial into the student views. Okay, so here you can see this is the partial. And we can use this partial inside uh, multiple templates and that we already used at the edit a new template to uh, render the same form for creating or updating a student. Okay. Similarly, the other way of using partial uh, views is the creating layout in your Rails application. Layout can be used to render a common view template around the result of a Rails controller action. Okay, as we know that whatever we are seeing in our application right now that every template is rendered inside the application layout. Why? Because this is the default layout for Rails application and it can be found inside the, you can see here, app views and layout folder. So here you can see that we have application layout. However, we have also have the mailer layout here as well, which is used for action mailer purpose. But uh, right now we are just discussing the action view. So we will discuss only application.html.erb. Okay. And this is the default layout for our, for rendering our templates as of now. Okay. However, Rails allow you to create multiple or your custom layouts as well. For example, for authentication pages, you might need a separate layout and for other pages, you might need a different layout. Okay. So this is all you can do. You just need to make sure that create that layout that you want to make as a custom layout into the app views layouts directory here. Yeah, okay. And you need to mention that layout into the controller where you want to use that layout. We also see how to we will also see how to create a custom layout later in the boot this bootcamp course project but for now i think it's enough to know about layouts however if you wish you can try this at your end okay so just create a layout file here and ren render that uh, layout in a controller just like this for example let's let's say we created a layout with uh, name site so you can use that layout in a controller action like uh, sorry layout and here you can actually let's say site okay so now whatever the styles or assets you have included in that uh, layout that will be rendered for this controller okay or with wherever you define the layout site okay so this is how you can use custom layouts in your application okay and rails also provide helper methods to use with action views and this helpers methods include formatting dates, string numbers, and creating HTML links for images, videos, style sheets, and creating forms and localizing contents as well. But there is a separate lecture to study the helper classes in upcoming videos. So we will look at that helper there. Okay. So we are not discussing the application helper or action helper right now in details. Okay. Because we will discuss them separately and that is uh, uh, core co that is another important concept to understand so we are not missing that concept here okay now this is what we have discussed about the action views i know this is uh, not too much detail it's, it's a brief but uh, it's uh, enough explanation about the views so that you can start writing your custom actions and uh, preparing uh, your templates for those actions and you can see how you can uh, how rails render the views for application or how render the views uh, uh, views inside different layouts okay so you can just practice that as you, and just to make sure that how you are seeing that just try to do one thing that go to the browser okay open a page or open a link in your rails application and just make a refresh or submit the form or a refresh a get request page and just come to the terminal and just try to see these couple of things like uh, what is the type of the request that you are receiving okay and what is the controller which is processing that request for you okay and just try to see that uh, what the layout is going to be rendered and 
what template is going to be rendered and if that template is also referencing to some particular partial so you need to make sure that by viewing this okay so and i'm sure that after uh, working as this practice and after practicing like this you can get more familiar with the action views and uh, rails outers and action controllers okay so that's all about the action views i hope you will get uh, some good learning from this lecture and enjoy this so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture with some details on routing till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe